Hey there! In this video, we'll look at how we can deploy our website using Azure Static Web Apps. So what we have is Visual Studio Code. What we need to have also is to make sure that we have some kind of access to Azure. That could be Azure for Students or also the free version of Azure that will give you some credits. We will also need something called Azure Static Web Apps extension for Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code itself. On top of that, we need to make sure that we have a GitHub account and that we are logged on to GitHub. Looking on your left here, you see that we have an index.html file. We see that being previewed using CodeSwing and we also have a style CSS to make it look the way that it looks. From here on, because I've installed the Azure Static Web Apps extension, I can invoke a command uh, from it in the command palette. Using the command palette, I can search for Azure Static Web Apps and a command called create static web app. I select that. So at this point, it's going to ask me for a subscription. I'm going to take what I have. I have not created a local Git uh, repository at this point, but I'm going to have the extension do that for me. And it will also create a remote GitHub repository because this is the way that Azure Static Web Apps work. It works off of your GitHub account and a repo within. So we hit the create button. At this point, it's asking me to do an initial commit. I can give it an, a commit message so I can be editing what you're seeing here on top. I choose to call it initial commit because that's what I'm trying to do. At this point, it's asking me for the name of the static web app. You could be calling this my project, for example. No spaces are allowed, so if you need it to be several words, you can uh, use a dash in between. I'm calling it my project. Now is the time to uh, enter the name of a GitHub repository. I give it a name and now I need to be selecting a region. Now I've got many presets, meaning if I have a very complicated application, there are a lot of uh, choices made for me if I choose one of these templates. Because I have something that's very simple in nature, I'm going to be selecting custom. Now, uh, now it's asking for where is my application code and everything lives at the root, which means that slash here is a good option, but it's a bit more complicated project, I would need to give it the uh, subdirectory. Now I don't have a build directory per se. Normally you have a build directory if you're using a framework such as React. There might be a dist folder for example, I don't have that, so I'm going to end up erasing this and just go with empty. And now I'm letting Static Web Apps do its business, which means to create my uh, Git, my local Git, create my GitHub repository, create the necessary cloud resources, and now you can see how it succeeded. I could either be looking at my actions in GitHub, or I could be viewing or editing the workflow. We can also expand this a bit. So we can click to view resource. If you've installed Azure Static Web Apps, you see that you have a bunch of apps here uh, under static web apps folder. We can expand this a bit. So under static web apps, you have one of these. Now uh, I have more than one, but here's my project. I can expand and see what's there. I see that there's a production folder. There are actions. Actions are what makes the deployment possible. So now that I deployed the first time, everything is good. And it has created that connection with Azure for me. There's also a sense of a workflow and some parameters that might be important. If I have a more complex project, let's say I want to add an API. I don't need to worry about that. I have a simple page at this point, but I do have my action that will make it possible for me to just work within Visual Studio Code and do any changes. Were I to do any changes at this point and push them to my repo, that would lead to everything being redeployed. So we will look at that shortly. But for now, let's just make sure that we have a website. So if I select browse site, I can make sure that everything has been deployed. And here you can see how my site has been deployed. Uh, it has this URL and that's great. So what I, if I actually want to do something with this, what if I want to change, let's say the name of my project over here. Let's go into our file and at least call it my invention. You might have a more, a better name for your project, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open up the terminal at this point, and I'm going to do a commit towards my GitHub uh, repo. Because it created a local uh, Git repository for me, if I do Git status, I can see that I have done a change. It's indicated here as modified. 
by me doing git add, I can see that it's now ready to be committed. So I'm going to do that, git commit, change title. Now I'm going to hit git push, which means I'm going to send this off to GitHub and exactly that is happening. So let's uh, have a look and see what's going on uh, just for the sake of, of understanding more. Now here I have my project again. I went into my Azure extension. I'm going to select to open up in GitHub to inspect the repo so we understand high level what's going on. So now we have a sense of a workflow. This is the first time that it connected between my files and, and GitHub. This is what it created and this is what it ran. We can see that it ran successfully. I have the screen checkbox. It was able to build and deploy. That's amazing. And uh, yeah, for the second time around, I changed the title. I just pushed to the repo and uh, this workflow just kicks off. I don't need to do anything. The only thing I know is that everything is deployed and it has set up this continuous integration pipeline for me. So I changed my title. It's working on deploying things. You can see that it has ran a few steps already and it is once it's done with this step, everything is good and it's now on complete job and that's fantastic and it's in a cleanup phase and it looks great so we can just go in here and let's refresh and now i can see how my site has changed names and the only thing i did from this point on was to work locally within visual studio code create a new change commit that change and push it to my repo and everything azure is something i don't need to care about so this is as simple when you want to get started with azure static web apps the only thing you need to make sure is that you're signed up to azure you have a github account you're logged in, you need to have the extension installed and from there on you saw that it was only a few steps the first time and the next time, the third time and the fourth time. It's just a matter of pushing a git commit. Thanks all for watching, that's all I had.